Welcome to the Learn Salesforce CPQ. This is Pramod, and in this video, I am going to explore another plugin given by Salesforce CPQ package called Custom Action Plugin. So basically, this plugin allows us to execute the code before and after a custom action. So as of now, CPQ package uh, provides us the support with only one custom action, that is clone line. So let me first show you like where you can find that action. So if you go to the code line editor and uh, so right now let me add product randomly here. Click on select. Let me add all the product options and hit the save. So um, you can find that clone line option is available at bundle level on Kotlin editor. So uh, to demonstrate the this plugin execution, what I've done, I have created one uh, checkbox field on the Kotlin object and added that into the field set so that it will be visible inside Kotlin editor. And once I'm cloning any existing bundle, I wanted to make sure that those should be uh, flagged with this particular checkbox so that I might have to uh, my, I might have to configure another process to route through a different approval process. So this will be like again, uh, this is not really like any business example, but just to demonstrate this particular plugin. So let me hit this one and click on clone. So you can see that the same bundle is cloned here, but uh, after adding this particular plugin our goal is to make sure that the uh, the second bundle should be marked as a clone line okay so now let's switch to the vs code and see uh, how to write a code for custom how to write a code for a custom action plugin all right so by default we have two options on before clone line event and then the on after clone line and it has a two parameters quote and clone line so quote is the quote model and the clone line is the object basically it has a two property again clone line and the original line so clone line is available only with on after clone line and the original line is available with on before clone line and the on after clone line so since we have to update that field so let's go and use the uh, second method called on after clone line okay so let's first use this parameter dot clone line dot standard dot for each within that we need to use the function let's use the parameter for line all right Now we simply need to access that clone line and iterate through each record. So line dot record and here we need to specify the API name of that field is equal to true because that was checkbox and the API name of that particular field created on the code line object is clone lines. All right, so we are done with our code. So this is pretty much straightforward. We are just iterating through each clone line and updating this field with true. So let's go and copy this code. To the custom script 
so click on new script name can be custom action plugin copy and paste the name the code all right so uh, one more thing that we need to take care about is that uh, if you are using any custom field especially this one you need to add that field into this particular field uh, let's say quote line field the reason is that by default this particular script will get access to the package field those are having prefix sbqq but if you want to use any custom field you need to exclusively specify those custom fields api name here and uh, similar like a quote line field you can add a custom field to the quote field and the quote line group field all right so we are pretty much done with this let me copy this name and hit the save okay now since i have copied that uh, script name let's go back to the package setting and uh, add that name to this particular field and hit the save okay now let's come back to the code let me hit the refresh click on add product let's select the same product again okay now i'm going to select this bundle product and hit the clone line custom action okay so now you can see here uh, this clone line field is enabled for the clone line so we can like use this particular feature in terms of uh, if you really want to uh, build something on the clone line or if you want to make sure that you need to update back to the original code line you can use this particular uh, uh, custom plugin code i hope so like uh, six for cpq package uh, definitely will have plan to add a more support to this custom action and definitely those will be helpful for us to write some custom logic on or before or after our custom actions thank you